we're leaving here now and uh, going to meet Alan uh, Lord Head at his dad's house which is 10 miles away I had a little bit of a play with the satellite navigation unit whilst in bed last night uh, yeah I, I, I really need to spend some time and work it out I must have put the wrong place in to get here I, I don't know what I did but anyway uh, yeah this is quite a nice place it well it was nice here there is a graveyard out there that I can see the top of the church um, yeah we wanted to be leaving Allen's at 9 and it's gonna be 11 minutes past but hopefully he won't smack our bottoms too hard that's a nice little place that the lighting wasn't very good in the room though so I couldn't see what I was doing sorting camera stuff out and uh, messing about in my bag and getting clothes out and stuff I couldn't see nice guy bless him Uh, is he having a reversing problem? Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> Do you want to push backwards? Where can I push? Christ! <laughs> There's nothing like starting the day off with a pan-European push, I always say. <sighs> right. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, righty. Oh. Now then. Where's that graveyard? That's where I went in there. See? Gravestones. See? Oh my god. You gotta love it, aren't you? <laughs> Turn left. Down here. Yeah, ten miles to Senior Lord Head's house. I'm warm now. What is the temperature? 12 degrees. That's all right. I can live with 12 degrees. Right. Let's see if the sat nav can redeem itself. I know it's probably my fault, not the sat navs, but still, I'll blame it on the sat nav. Half a mile. No, three quarters of a mile to go. Right. Took a left here. Ah, finally saw a sign for that town because I was a bit concerned that I didn't see a sign for the, well I say town, village, begin with M, can't remember it, right, 800 yards. There he is. Bonjour, ma chérie, bonjour. Yeah, I made it. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, stop him. 
Right, we've arrived, obviously, um, with Alan, Helmet Head, um, Le Monkey, Le Sange. Um, there's Senior Lord Head, say hello. Hello. And Paul. Um, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Alan tell you the plan because he's planned it to the the minutest detail, haven't you? We've had about six weeks to plan. Basically. Oh, you actually have. Just well, there I was is. joking. We've got a mountain. I don't, got know a mountain. We, I don't know what the mountain's called or where it actually is, but we're going over a mountain. Yeah. We're going into Spain. Yeah. We're speaking Mexican to the Spanish because apparently that's what you do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then we're just going to ride over more mountains. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to get to the coast. That's the plan, but we're probably not going to make it. It's all going to go wrong. No, I think it's all going to be. Um, we're going to have some awesome views. Um, there's going to be some drone footage going on big time in a minute. Both drones together. Sync. Yeah, both drones. Um, we could make like a Chinook. Yeah. A drone Chinook. We'll carry stuff. Yeah, like the monkey bike. <laughs> the monkey bike up the mountain. Um, with nine horsepower. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. So how many days? Four. Four, yeah. Four, four days. days of riding to get so, across the whole of north of Spain. Yeah. That's the plan. And we're going, we're in the Pyrenees, basically, aren't we? We're going to cross over. We're going to get touched up by some police as we go over the top. Yeah, I'm and looking then, forward to that. Actually. Yeah, I am too. It's been a long time. Mm. Um, so we're going to get touched up by some uh, police going over a border um, into Spain, up to the coast, and then into Portugal. I've never been to Portugal, so it's that's going to go wrong, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not going to go wrong. And, um, and then we're going to Pink My Bike, um, which in my view... The company Pink My Bike already. I mean, I haven't met them. I don't think you've actually met only, them yet. Have only you? online. Yeah. Um, awesome guys. I yeah. can I can tell that already. So I'm looking forward to meeting those guys. And because uh, obviously we're going back in May, but we'll tell you about that later. So right, we're going to uh, hit the road. It's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be a awesome. I'm going right. to give you a push. Yeah. Or yeah. tow. Or tow. Well, you probably or tow pull. me to be fair. Yeah. We'll make it look like the monkey's done it. Right. Good. Catch you in a bit, guys. Well, I got no idea how to end the route on the sat nav, so it's constantly turn right, turn right, turn left, and all that. I just don't know how to turn. I don't know how to cancel the route. Jesus Christ! Anyway, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're uh, on the adventure. He's got all his heated stuff on. I don't know. I mean, he says there might be snow up on top of the mountain, but I can't see it. You know, I mean, what? It's 13 degrees. I'm happy. Um, I can't see it being cold enough for a length of time to put all my heated stuff on. I'm not going to bother with that. His dad's funny. Yeah. I like him. Right, well there's the Pyrenees then. There's the mountains that we're going to be going across, I guess. That's our first glimpse. This sat nav, I, you know, I just, I got to turn it off somehow when we stop. It's just driving me insane. Turn right, turn right, turn left. You're never going to believe this. Yeah. Hang on. Where um, all of that that we've just done, yeah. I did last night. Yeah. yeah. You know where there was that bar with people sat outside? Yeah. That's where my sat nav took me to. That's a nice bar. It's just up the green. Yeah, but your your dad's place yeah. was up that way. What? Five minutes? Yeah. But it took me 13 kilometres. All I think down here. All, right. all that that we've just done, I did to get to your dad's. And my sat nav, because I can't turn it off, it's just going to turn right. So it's still trying to take me to your dad's. I've got to try and work out how to, how to cancel it. I don't know how you end the route. 
Right, I finally found out. Well, I haven't finally found out. He showed me how to cancel the route, so now it's not going to be constantly telling me, turn right, turn right, turn round. Uh, uh. Did you see when I pull, pulled off, I pulled off to the left? Yeah. See, like my default. Right? Yeah, I did. I thought, oh, he's going the wrong way. <laughs> On the wrong side of the road, I mean. Yeah, we're stopping for dinner. Um, and Helmet Head's dad, Senior Lord Head, is coming to meet us for dinner. Which would be nice, because I was saying, look, the railway track just, the railway track just ends, look. <laughs> Obviously, no longer in use. Um, did he just have a wobble then when he took his hands off the handlebars? Anyway, we're meeting uh, Alan's dad for dinner, which would be nice, because we haven't actually had... Uh, me and Paul, we haven't actually had a sit down, a slip the nose bag on moment. We've, uh, <coughs> sorry, I've got a bit of a bloody cough. Um, Covid, um, we had a Burger King, but we were on a bit of a mission to get down here, see? So we did two, um, you know, full on get some southage going on missions like basically like from Western Supermare to um, to Le Mans was about 500 miles and then from Le Mans to uh, basically down here last night it was nearly another 500 mile day and uh, stop in you know um, toilet breaks etc but yeah, it was a fair old punch down here. As I was riding down here, I was thinking to myself, wow, that tiny little engine on that bike that I know very well. Uh, and I've done some work. I mean, fair play to Honda, mind, because it's a tiny little engine. But it's awesome. Can't believe it. You would have thought, wouldn't you, that Honda would have done something for him, but they're just not interested, apparently, which is ridiculous. I mean, they should buy him another bike, or I don't know, they should do something. I mean, he doesn't even want them to buy him anything. He was saying that it would just be nice for Honda to let him store the bike around the world at different Honda dealerships. And I mean, in my mind, what an advert. A guy, a complete mentalist from the UK, riding around the world on a Honda monkey bike and in different franchises, you know, in different dealerships for, a, for five weeks or whatever it is each time. So people could look at it and go, oh, that's that English guy, yeah, he's going around the world on that, you know. But they're just not interested at all, which I find completely bizarre. I mean, what's the matter with people? Anyway. Look at this. What's the temperature? 14 degrees. That's nice. It's not doing the thing from the sky. Nice. We're just at the start of some awesomeness, uh, by all accounts. Uh, where, where are we, dude? Well, we're, I'm going to get this wrong, but we're at Luchon. We've just gone through. It's like a skiing town where you can get a lift up. And this is the mountain pass that takes us to... I was going to say Baritz, but it's not Baritz, is it? No, it's Baritz. Bossos, it? Bossos, it's called. It might be wrong, but we're on the... There's a signpost, and then we're on the D618A between Luchon and Bossos. Oh, and that says... Does that say nine a span? Yeah. That's the Spain. So nine Spain is nine k's, uh, nine kilometers. So, so is that how long the pass is? Nine kilometers. So that's just to the border, and then we go down again. But this is epic, twisty awesomeness, and we're going to look really sexy as we're going down the road. That's the plan. Okay, I like that plan. Man. You up for that, Paul? I'm up for that. Yeah, we're we're uh, that's good then. It's gonna be good. Right, gonna so uh, good. we're going to stop up there and get some footage and uh, get some dronage going on as well. Um, I'm quite looking forward to, obviously, the view, but I'm also looking forward to food because um, we haven't had any, have we, Paul? I haven't eaten for a month, I don't think. No, like oh, and we haven't had a drink. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I did catch Paul um, sucking some screen wash out of Alan's dad's car 
out of his citron um, just to try and get that slight alcohol hit because um, it's, it's getting to we're not alcoholics we, we, but, we will be though yeah that long. but <laughs> it's you know we just wanted a little a, a wee dram there we just wanted a wee dram and we've had nothing um i did see some beer in a super in a garage and i nearly bought it should have didn't anyway gonna crack on speak to you in a bit got a wookie like this nah it's not high enough for wookie he likes it really high up and he also likes it when there's no barrier at all. He loves that. Right, so nine kilometers to Spain then. I have been through um, the Pyrenees before. Um, I used to go through Andorra, which you weren't really supposed to do um, in a truck, but I used to. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Judas Priest. Oh, look at that. Little waterfall. Look. Oh, wicked, like this bend as well. Oh. Thought he was going to get his knee down then. That was tight. about on it mine does he I love the GS the GS adventure don't get me wrong but sometimes it's a bit of a task you know um, in slow maneuvering well in slow maneuvers because it's I've said it before it's like you know negotiating a it's like manoeuvring a pregnant cow. Um, awesome machine, obviously. Oh. But yeah, sometimes the size of it is a little bit, I don't know if daunting is the right word, but it's um, not the easiest, not the most nimble in slow maneuvers. I think that explains what I'm trying to say. I don't want to drop it, basically.
walking on your own side of the road, you cock. You very nearly had the pannier on the floor. Did I? Yeah, and I would have told you off. <laughs> I would have bent you over these oh, railings so and fun. spanked you. I'm having so much fun. I was like, yes! Yes! It's <laughs> nice here, isn't it? We're going there for lunch. So what's this place called? Bassos. Or Bossos. That's my daddy, he'll know more than me. Hmm. <laughs> Bassos, Bossos, Bissos. We're having a little bit of a dilemma here because um, I booked it was his fault. He One showed moment, me. Please. He One can. Moment, please. Yeah, he can get online. It's because you put my my route. I'm booked. Look, your booking is confirmed at the hotel that he told me about. <laughs> um, and Paul. I can't even find the hotel. And himself um, are having okay, are having trouble. Me. I just did what he said, and I'm in. I'm booked. Plus side is though, if we don't get in, then we can um, leave me on my own. Else, yeah. yeah, and I'll be on my own. Form incomplete. Credit card number. What? Oh, my bank card's not on there. <laughs> I just pressed it. Double bed. Usual <laughs> wallet. I might end up being on my own. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Uh, I did request um, a couple of Latvian ladies to gently caress, to gently caress both buttocks. Um, because obviously doing a thousand miles, a thousand and thirty-eight miles, I think it actually was. Um, the GS doesn't come. Well, my model, the 2019, doesn't come with Latvian buttock massages. Um, the new one, I think, does. No, that's not right. That's not right. You have to wait. Just sold out. Well, I'm done. Cheers. I'll stand at yours. Yeah. Right, that's where we've just um, stuck the nose bag on. A restaurant something, tapas. Do you know what it's called? Uh, Pardon? Auto. There's no need for that, I only asked you what it was called. <laughs> was it? Uh, 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 yeah, it's nice. It's nice here. Looks like a cave up there, look. Looks like a sort of cave where the Grinch would live. Right, so, 174 miles to the hotel. Now this hotel looks like it's got a restaurant and uh, a bar, uh, plastic seating outside. You've got to love some plastic seating. Um, so yeah, this should be uh, good. Is that a fire station? Surely that, oh it is, that's a fancy fire station. Yeah, that's a nice town. Boss, Bossost, I think. The sat nav saying we're gonna be there at 19 minutes past seven. I know it's me with this sat nav and I don't wanna go on, but, oh. I can put the centre in, the town, and the centre, but it won't let me put the street name in. Normally on sat navs you put the postcode and then it asks you for the street name and the number, but I'll get used to it, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, getting used to it. Right, catch up with you guys in a bit. I've had a few people now say to me, oh that's going to be a nightmare or uh, you know riding that slow um, I mean even Alan's dad a minute ago in the restaurant he said oh what's it like on a bike like yours going that slow doing that sort of speed but you know what it's actually quite nice uh, just chilling out and basically just sucking in the scenery you know don't get me wrong we all like a twist up 
um, observing all the local speed limits obviously um, but this is nice and chilled taking in all the scenery you know listening to music I mean that's why I bought the adventure bike to enjoy the motorcycling rather than all bent over you know sports bike styling oh look at the current bun coming out now yeah this is what it's about just gently cruising along it's all right Take me home, take me on a ride I, I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes Take me home, take me to the sky I, I got a good feeling, tell me the only thing you are Wicked, love that bit. Oh, that would be the highlight of Wookie's trip. I'll tell you what, the, the bends, I, I got this thing in my head about Gravel on the bends. I mean, he just don't care. You know when you're a kid, you just don't care, do you? Uh, but as you get older, I guess, you, you think, oh, that could go wrong, you know, oh, don't do that. Um, so yeah, I guess there's an element of that in there, you worry. When you're a kid, you, you haven't got so much fear. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to ride my trials bike up anything. I'd literally put a ladder in the back garden of my mum and dad's house. <coughs> Sorry. I'd put a ladder up a 45 gallon drum and ride up it and off the end. I wouldn't do that now, but I did that when I was 10. You know, I was riding through skips. Um, yeah, you know, rubbish skips and over cars. Not any car in the street. There was a, at the club that I was, uh, the, the, what was it called? Bristol Motorcycle Centre, that was it. Back in the day, 1980. Um, I think. Yeah, it would have been. And uh, yeah, I used to dry, ride over cars and through skips with water in. And if you remember, actually, you probably will because the, the most percentage of people that watch my videos are 
between 40 yeah between 40 and 50 50 years old or 55 maybe so you will remember junior kickstart oh, i had the song in me then oh something like that oh it comes to me uh something like that you know the song anyway junior kickstart brilliant loved it well that's what i used to do not on that program but trials riding but like i say i wouldn't do i wouldn't do any of that now and i'm going around some of these corners watching him just firing it into the bends but i just can't help there's a, a little element of fear in me i guess of um hitting a bit of gravel and that's that I mean, I suppose part of it is because this is like my baby, you know. I know it's just a, a, a machine to do a job and all the rest of it, but it's not, is it? Okay, so uh, progress report. Progress report, ladies and gentlemen. Mainly gentlemen, that, but there are a few ladies. Um, we are going to be there. At 7.13, according to the satellite navigation unit. Uh, how many miles without going off the edge of a road? 134. I can't remember how many I said it was to start with now. Was it 170 something? You'll remember because you were paying attention when I said. When we set off. But this is, uh, this is good. When, when me and Alex and Wookie were going up the Gross Lochner and all that and the Stelvio Pass and everything, that was awesome. But the weather was a bit cack. I know you're never going to have everything, but this is good. It's a little bit windy, but, but look at all this. You know? You don't get this in Skegness. I don't know what you get in Skegness, actually. Somebody in Skegness. Well, there won't be anybody in Skegness watching this. Look at that. Tiny little tunnel down there. Oh my God. Wow. That was dodge. That was proper dodge. I literally couldn't see. I mean, all right. I've got a, uh, i got a black visor, and normally, on, in an instance like that, I would have flicked her onto main beam, and it would have been fine. But I didn't want to blind Alan as he was going into that bend. I literally couldn't see anything then. <laughs> that could have been very exciting. Look how cool this little road is. No idea where we are. Church. Monastery, is it monastery? 